The Women's Protective and Provident League was established in 1874 to promote women's trade unionism and to develop self-reliance among women. The League inspired the creation of the National Association of Working Women in Bristol and helped form other women's unions in the UK. The organization outlined their goals in an 1888 meeting. The Women's Protective and Provident League was formed for the purpose of assisting women earning their livelihood to combine with the protection of their industrial interests, for the provision of benefit funds to be drawn upon in times of illness or in times of slack trade, and for the interchange of trade information. The League also oversaw arbitration cases between its members and their employers and helped women find employment in trades that did not have their own unions. The League was established by Emma Patterson, who had worked as an assistant secretary in the Working Men's Club Institute and as a secretary for the Society for the Promotion of Women's Suffrage Association. In 1873, she went on a trip to the U.S. where she encountered the Parasol and Umbrella Makers Union and the Women's Typographical Union and was inspired to publish an article titled The Position of Working Women and How to Improve It in Labor News, where she outlined her ideas for the League. After establishing the League, Emma Patterson became the first woman delegate to the 1875 Trade Union Congress, where she raised the issue of women's rights in the workplace. In 1876, Patterson, with the help of Feminist Victoria Press, founded the Women's Union Journal to further promote the League. The organization was renamed the Women's Trade Union League in 1890, and later shipped taken over by Amelia Dilka, a close friend and colleague of Patterson's. In addition to supporting workers' rights, the union offered social and musical evenings, a circulating library, a co-op store run by the union members, and even swimming lessons, all of which helped in growing their membership numbers. While the organization was relatively small and eventually closed down in 1921, it was successful in helping start over 30 women's unions, including the National Federation of Women Workers and trade unions for dressmaking, upholstery, stay work, sewing machine work, tailoring, and bookbinding. Patterson therefore made a significant impact on the lives of working women and their rights.